Hey, so before you get into this video, I did just want to let you know this video was recorded way back, and I do mean way back, at the very beginning of July, and at the time when I recorded it, I had a cold just like uh, the last video with the Water Palace two weeks ago. Why am I uploading it this late? I don't know. Please don't question me, okay? I, I've, I was doing a lot of streaming and a lot of other stuff, and that's why I'm only just now getting around to it. But videos are going to be getting back on track soon. I'm going to be dropping another update video video after this um I, I will say it's kind of weird because the update video was supposed to drop before this but i kind of decided i wanted to get a normal video out first before i dropped the update video so like in the update video when that comes out it's gonna be me talking as though this video is coming out after the update video but it's not look okay we're getting off track look the point is this video was recorded way back at the very beginning of july and at the time when I recorded it, I had a cold. So I don't have a cold anymore. Obviously, that was like a month ago. And it is August now, so it was literally a month ago. But like, I just wanted to let you know, that's why I was sick in this video. This was a month ago. I recorded this at the very beginning of July. And I'm just now like putting it out today, whenever you see it. But uh, yeah, so thank you all for your understanding. And even though I was sick, I still hope you enjoy the video. And uh, yeah. I'll hand it back over to Pass Marvin. See you guys later. Hey Slayers, I'm the one and only world's coolest Sega enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64 and welcome back to another episode of Sonic Rush. I literally, I literally, here's the thing, I literally just uh, stopped recording Water Palace and immediately pressed record on uh, Zone 3 right here. I don't remember what, this is uh, Water Palace and this is Mirage Road, right? Yeah, Mirage Road. Um, and yeah, I, I just got done recording Water Palace and I was like, you know what, let's get right into this. So, uh, let's go do it. I'm still sick, as you can probably tell, because again, I, I did just like immediately start recording this after I recorded the last episode. So here we go. Freaking love this song, by the way. Freaking love this song. Back, 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 I don't even know what he's saying. I don't know what they're saying in half these songs. I just make up my own lyrics as time goes on, because dear God, this goes hard. Honestly, I don't even know why I don't have this on my phone. I'm gonna have to uh, get on that soon really about here. Dude, this song just goes so hard. Like, literally, it's insane. By the way, you just boost and hit these guys. Honestly, you know, I don't like this level because of uh, the huge amount of slowdown. And I don't mean like the level lags or anything, but this level is. Uh, what, what I don't like about this level is the fact that I have to. Uh, stop and fight those enemies multiple times and it's you know why does Sonic keep stopping me again he was just doing this in the last gameplay and I was just like I'm gonna fix this and I didn't do it um I should have took it up taking a look at it before we started this but uh, no it was right there and I missed it oh I'm so upset uh this gimmick has a cool uh a cool sort of uh foreground background type of that going on that I, I relatively enjoy um but uh yeah I, I i love this level for its music and stuff but i don't like the slowdown like here the enemy battle rooms are slow, slow they're so slow i honestly don't understand the point of them and you have to wait even longer because you have to wait for the enemies to drop down and when they drop down they have a couple seconds not to be not to uh mention you can't hit them right off the bat you gotta kind of you know wait these guys have uh invincibility frames so it's just i don't know it's an unnecessary slowdown to the game that i, I just kind of feel felt like was only there to extend the level you know i'm gonna do it i don't really see the point also, that's a very tight gap right there. I don't know what the heck that was. Are, are you seeing what I'm saying? Ten enemies. Ten enemies I have to take down. This is so slow for no reason. It, it's just prolonging the game way past the point it doesn't need to be. You know what I'm saying? Look, and watch. Yep. Uh-huh. And I still have to take out one of these and wait for its invincibility frames. It's like, really, really? This was needed in a Sonic game, I'm going to be real? And then look! 
Are you seeing it? Only criticism with this level. Only criticism. I honestly don't know what Dems was thinking when they put this in here. Maybe they, maybe they just felt like, you know what, we need to make this just a little bit longer, you know, it's a little too short. I feel like this level could have easily carried itself without the whole, uh, without the whole freaking needing to extend it out with really dumb gimmicks type thing they got going on here. Go this part of the level is actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. You have to watch the bottom screen, the top screen for what's falling. I can't move. Why can't I move? Okay. I was kind of stuck on the momentum there. There's a rock falling there, and you want to be careful because these rocks will hit you. And they did hit me, and if I run out of rings here, I'm screwed. You can't fall off, by the way. So just, you know, be careful. Just watch what's at the top there, and you'll be just fine. I'm sorry about that little cut there, guys. We're still on this thing here, but, um... Yeah, you just have to watch the falling rocks, and you'll be just fine. Like, literally, listen to this OST when you get a chance, like, on your own time. It, it's fire. This is a really cool part of the level, though. I, I really do think this part of the level is really neat. I, I'm kind of disappointed, because I didn't see... We, we missed our only entrance into the special stage, and this means that I'm going to have to, like, go back and come back to this level and try to do it on my own time, which is, you know, super annoying, but whatever. Come on. Come on. S rank. Oh my god, this game hates me. I'm gonna be real. I, 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 this game hates me. I don't get it. Dude, this, oh, this song goes so hard. What? I'm dead. You are one dumb son of a I, I don't know why Sonic stopped midair. I honestly don't know why he stopped in midair. I, I honestly can't tell you guys. There we go. No, I kind of feel like I should have went that way. I, I feel like a part of me feels like there was probably a special stage entrance over there that I, I just missed and I'm not gonna be able to go back and get now. What the heck did I hit? Guess it was a spike or something up there. I just gotta be on the lookout for the special stages. I really don't wanna miss them. I mean, if there was one right here, I'm not sure I'd have. Oh my god, I just saw it. I was like, oh, heck no, I gotta go back. Honestly, this might actually be in a pretty favorable position, if I'm being honest with you. Because I might be able to redo it again. Luckily, you can just keep entering these things if you have a good area to trick around and, you know, you got boost. So, unlike last time, I won't actually show you the special taste multiple times in this one if I uh, can't do it. Also, you can probably tell this chaos emerald's gonna be yellow. Um... Oh, those big silver rings are worth five rings. Oh, man. I missed that. I might be screwed. What the heck? The game is screwing me. Oh, my God. I'm done. Oh, my God. The game's messed me up so bad. I'm so done. It's over. It's over, man. I don't even have 100, let alone 150. Oh, my God. There's no way. Yeah, there's no recovering. I'll, I'm done. Uh, it's over for me, boys. Rest in, rest in peace in the chat for Sega Slayer 64 and, you know, the Odin's touchscreen not being as good as the DS's. Come on. My hand just can't go that high. Let's see. Oh, my God. You know, I probably could have saved it right there. I probably could have saved it right there, and I still botched. I still botched. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Well, uh, I'm going to try and get back in. I'm going to be real. I'm going to try and go back in. Please, 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 please. No! Nope. So close, man. Okay. No, I can go down there. But... Yes! It's slow. It is slow. I'll be real. It is slow. But it is enough. It is enough. Uh, I'll be back once I get back in the special stage, guys. Never mind! Uh, I screwed it up and I accidentally went too far and now I missed the special stage. So I'm gonna have to do this off screen now, which does suck. Uh, don't worry, by the next episode we'll have the chaos air mode. I'll figure it all out and I'll. Little did he know he was about to be blessed with one more shot.
uh, you know, I'll go in there and do it. Honestly, what I should be doing is actually just making it full screen when I'm doing the special stages, now that I think about it. I don't really need to look at the top screen, I just need to, like, win, you know? I'm a, I'm a little annoyed now, though. I am a little annoyed. I was, like, super... I, I, I had enough boost and I still messed it up. It's like... Ooh, okay. Me? Oh, okay. I figured there probably could have been one up there, but, you know, I, I missed it at this point, so... It is what it is. I'm gonna have to just come back to this level, and... I'm a little annoyed that I'm gonna have to do it off-screen, probably. Especially because I got, like, the one chance. I feel like that's gonna happen a lot, though. I'm gonna be real. I feel like it's gonna happen a decent amount of me missing and having to come back because I'm so bad at video games, particularly Sonic Rush, you know. The game I should be really decently good at, I'm terrible at, I'm gonna be real. Is there really not one up there? Is there really, like, not another one in the stage? Really, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be a little disappointed if there's literally not another one in the stage. But there should be at least one more, I'm gonna be real. But really, they could've stuck one right here. They could have stuck one right there. Tell me they couldn't have. Oh, they did. Okay, I'll be back after the special stage, okay, guys? Oh, guys, I did it. I did it. Oh, boy, so I did it. It was a little tough, but I, I managed to do it. I actually got the Chaos Emerald. You know, I, I'm a G. It, it's me, your boy. I, I managed to do it. Woo. Ooh, it only took me the one try to. I didn't even have to. Uh, I didn't even have to try again. I got it. We got the yellow KS Emerald. Uh, so yeah, you know, I, I'm just gonna start cutting it off screen. Um, you know, just to make these videos uh, kind of like go a little bit faster. I'm gonna be real with you. Okay. No. No. Oh man. You know, I'm one hit, bro. I'm one hit. Please. Oh, okay. There's some reason there. Please let this be the end. Please let this be the end of the level. I swear if I mess it up, I really don't want to go on the freaking board with, uh, you know, one freaking ring. That's going to suck. I always thought this part was so cool where Sonic gets kind of, like, big on the screen, you know? Well, when I was a kid, I always thought it was so freaking cool. It is a really little neat trick they got going on. Here we go. Oh, Badniks. Have you guys ever, like, you guys still call them Badniks? I'm going to be real. They don't really, his robots don't really have names anymore, so I don't really know if they're still called Badniks. I still call them Badniks, though. Uh, Badniks is a pretty cool- Oh, I would've had another chance coming up here, and they gave me, uh, invincibility? That's freaking dope. You know, honestly, though, the Rush series is the perfect mix of classic and modern. You can't get- I feel like you can't get a better mix of the two if you're looking for something like that. By the way, the invincibility does help against the rocks as well. Now, this part is very cool. What makes this part very cool is that it goes 3D, so you can actually move and, you know, I wouldn't say three dimensions, it's more like 2.5 dimensions, but you know, whatever. It's still a very cool, it's still a very cool, see, come on, get him. Okay. The fact that these guys still moving on 2D plane, though, is, you know, just have to avoid the box, no! Oh, please, yes! Boom. Such a cool ending to the level, though, I'm gonna be real, I really think this level is really freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie. Also, there's cool art up here at the top if you want to see it. Mirage Road, really cool free level. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't. The fact that I gotta be. The fact that I gotta be. Here we go. Honestly, they were really leaning in on me with that level because I don't think I deserve to be. But overall, really cool level. I don't like how they don't how they slowed it down so much. Uh, this boss is. Uh, Rush had a really a bunch of really creative bosses, and this boss is one of them. I think what happens with this boss is he's gonna send this little uh, ball around. I mean, you know, I wouldn't think, I, I wouldn't really, uh, if, you know, if you asked me what was a cool boss, and uh, I don't think I'd say it. Or if you asked me, like, to come up with a boss, I don't think I'd come up with a, uh, a dung beetle. What? What the fuck? That's, like, my first idea for a boss, but I'm not gonna say it's not creative. I mean, just because I wouldn't come up with it doesn't mean someone else would, you know what I'm saying? And someone else did come up with it. Uh, <laughs> very, uh, very interesting boss, I'm gonna be real with you. Are you, gonna, are you gonna throw the ball? Eggman Nega, are you gonna throw the ball? By the way, this is Eggman Nega. This is not the robot that come over here. There he is. Watch, watch the spikes come out, right, when I'm ready to hit it. There we go. Boom, clean. Honestly, this boss is really easy, and it's kind of a downgrade from the last boss, because it's, again, more waiting. Mostly just waiting. But then again, that's most of Eggman's bosses. It's kind of just, like, wait. You know, that, that's most of Rush bosses, and that's why I think Rush Adventure got it a little bit better. Is that 
Oh, I still got it. And I got my rings back. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Shut up, Tails. You're getting on my nerves. Tails really gets on my freaking nerves at the bottom of the screen in this game when I'm trying to freaking concentrate. But, by the way, I love the three boss stages. This is going to be a feature of uh, every single Rush game going forward. Okay, you just have... Literally, this is so easy. You just run around. He'll never hit you. Literally, he will never hit you. There you go. He's probably going to turn around, which is a little annoying. I like when he's going the other way, but whatever. No, just going to send that back. Wait for the spikes to come out. Hit it back. Boom. Done. Why do you keep trying it, though? Like, if, if I hit it back the first time, why do you keep trying it? Like, realistically, do you, would you guys keep trying it if I, like, hit it back? He might actually get me. Oh, yeah, if he, if he gets too close, you can hit the ball to... You know, I, I should I, I should expect that to happen. Oh. Okay. Got it. Ooh, he caught it. If you Yeah, by the way, guys, if you... Oh, look, he knew it. He knew what I was going to do. Uh, by the way, guys, if he gets too close to you, hit his ball, and it'll go flying back at him. Oh, oh, that was clean. That was clean. Why did I run around? What am I doing? Ring! Okay, uh, I'm probably gonna die. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm probably dead. He's probably gonna jump over it. Nope, he did. He's an idiot. Ooh, I gotta be, please don't go in the air. Please don't go in the air. If he goes in the air, I'm screwed. Is he gonna jump? He is gonna jump. Okay. That was very risky and stupid on my part, but whatever. Here we go. If he goes in the air, I'm dead. If he flies in the air, oh, I'm so dead. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Yup, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I'll, I'll cut, I'll cut back, I'm not gonna make you guys watch the whole boss again, I'll cut back until, uh, when I'm at the very last hit. Okay, boys, I am back at the last hit, he's probably gonna fly up in the air, and I'm probably gonna have to deal with that again, so, you know, we'll see, but I am here at the last hit, it only took me, it actually, only, it didn't take me that long, this was pretty easy. Oh, no! I missed it, you know what's gonna happen now? Come on, one! I couldn't get one of my rings back, he's gonna fly up in the air now, I'm dead. Watch me die again. Okay. Ooh, this is going pretty fast. Come on, that's it. That's gotta be it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on. Okay, that is it. I got one shot of this. Okay. Dodge. Okay. Please hit. Please hit. Let's go. Zero rings. Ooh. How is he not dead? How is he not dead? I don't know. I don't know. Man, Eggman, Eggman that just got this, uh, that science. Wait, Eggman Nega. By the way, the cutscene never changes. You know, it's a little it's a little bit annoying. And it's like, does Sonic think he's actually gonna wake? I mean, he's, he's a villain. Can you try this again? Yeah, I deserve that B. I deserve that B so much. I'm gonna be real with you. Shoot, fighting like this isn't really helpful, but it is cool. We need to find out the source of this problem. Sonic, we need more information. Sounds like a good idea. Let's go look around. Oh, would you look at this? This must be Cream's house. Anyone home? Why do you just know that, Tails? Oh, what a welcome surprise. Hi, Tails. Hey, look, it's Vanilla. Is this, you know, I've, I'm actually struggling to remember. I think this is Vanilla's one in-game uh, in appearance, if I'm correct. So I want to clarify this real quick. I don't know what the heck I was on about. As you all know, Vanilla appears many times in many games long before this. Uh, she was in Sonic Events 2. You literally save her at the ending, which is the picture you see on screen now. I think she was in Sonic the Fighters. And I could be wrong. I don't think so. But I also think she was in Sonic Heroes. I think I'm wrong on that one. I don't think she was in Sonic Heroes. But she's in multiple games before this. I don't know what I was talking about. Uh, I was kind of sick. So I probably just wasn't thinking. I'm probably wrong. Someone point me in a direction if there's another vanilla appearance, but as I'm playing this right now, I can't remember. She might be in Sonic Advance too. If you're looking for Cream, you just missed her. Hmm, I wonder where she went. She's out with a new friend. 
I don't recall her name, but she had an interesting purple outfit. You know, Vanilla, you're a terrible parent. You just let your little girl, who's like five, hang around with just mysterious people? Huh? It's gotta be her. Ma'am, do you remember which way they were headed? Hmm, I think they were headed toward the town. Thank you, man. Let's go, Tails. I don't, okay, Ma maybe, maybe Vanilla. My Cream's friends are always so busy. Vanilla! Now listen. Listen, I'm gonna be real with you guys for three seconds, okay? Vanilla's a terrible parent. She's a garbage parent. She's probably the worst parent I've ever seen in the history of parents. She just lets her parents hang around with random 16 and 17 year olds that, you know, she doesn't even know. She just makes a random new friend who's like, I think Blaze is like 16, same age as Sonic. And, you know, she just lets her go head off the town at night with her. It's, it's, it's a very, very strange situation. Vanilla, uh, get your act together. You're, this is maybe she thinks maybe you know I, I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe she thinks Cream can take care of herself, and maybe that's true. Cream does, you know, she can fly. She does. She's pretty fast on her feet, like Sonic, and she does. She is able to like spin dash and stuff. So you know, maybe maybe that's it. But either way, I mean, maybe Amy's a little understandable. You know, Amy's like 12, so you know I can see Amy and Cream is like six. So if Cream is six and Amy's 12. You know, I I can kind of see Amy being a, a sort of big sister role model. But Blaze is like 16. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, if you can subscribe, that would be really awesome. We're trying to reach 3,000 subscribers. You'd be helping us out a lot. Make sure to share this video with your friends and become a super slayer. I've been the one and only world's cool Sega enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64. And until next time, make sure to have a great day, great night, or great any time. Have a good one, slayers.